hello everybody. So good to be together again. We're here at the George Hale Library and we have Miss Carol here Hi. doing the filming and I'm Miss Peggy. And today we're gonna to read a special story about a boat. And we're gonna to try to make a little boat of our own that really floats, okay? That sounds like fun. But first we've gotta sing our song. If you wanna hear a story, clap your hands. You ready? If you wanna hear a story, clap your hands. If you want to hear a story, clap your hands. If you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, clap your hands. Boom, boom. All right, get ready for a story. This is one of my favorites. It's about a little girl and her little brother on a boat that she wishes for. It's called the Maggie B. And the pictures are by Irene Haas and she also wrote the story. And it has some songs in it that are old sea songs. I'll try to sing them. It might not be so good, but you'll always sing anyway, right? This is the Maggie B. This is a story of a wish come true. Margaret Barnstable wished on a star one night. North Star, star of the sea, I wish for a ship named after me to sail for a day alone and free with someone nice for company. And then she went to bed. Here's her little bed. Here she is wishing on a star. Look at that. Well, when she woke up, she was in the cabin of her own little ship. And it was named the Maggie B after her. And guess who the nice company was? It was her little brother, James, who was a dear little baby. A rooster crowed on deck, so Margaret knew that the day was about to begin. She took James out to welcome the sun, and it warmed them up and brightened the sky. And on the little deck was a farm, a tiny little farm. There was a goat and some chickens and an apple tree and a peach tree and an orange tree with a toucan perched in it. That's a big old parrot with a big nose. <laughs> they picked an orange and had that for breakfast. What fun. Now, since it was her own little cabin and her own little ship, Margaret worked hard and tidied it up with a joyful hustle bustle and a song. Look at that, she's got her little stove here and she's sweeping away and um, having a little breakfast there. He's having his orange and there's our toucan. They're having a wonderful busy morning. All that sparkling morning, she scrubbed the deck and made the ship ready to sail. And she sang an old sea shanty. Oh, the sailor's life is bold and free. His home is on the rolling sea. Heave ho, heave ho, my lads come sail with me. And that's fun to sing, isn't it? You can sing as loud as you want. Well, the Maggie B was soon riding the waves right over the tops like a bird. In the early afternoon, Margaret and James had a picnic lunch under the apple tree. Oh, look at they're having some apples and cheese and some strawberries and a little toucan snibbling. It was so good. What shall we have for supper tonight? Margaret wondered as she was as soon as lunch was over. What a lovely idea she had in her mind. She gathered a basket full of delicious things from the little garden. Look at that, she's got carrots and onions and tomatoes. And then out of the sea, she netted a blue green lobster and a silvery sea bass. That's a big fish. On her little stove, Margaret set a big pot of broth to boil and bubble. And she chopped, chopped, chopped the vegetables and put them into the pot. And then in went the sweet smelling herbs and the gleaming, glistening fish and the knobby hard shell lobster. And then she whipped off her apron and closed her eyes and mmm, she could smell that good sea stew. All afternoon it would simmer and fill the air with its wonderful fragrance. The Maggie Bee sailed steadily on the breeze was gentle and warm and soft, 
and James had his nap right on a little soft pillow on the deck. And Margaret, she painted a lovely portrait of him while he slept. And there's our toucan looking out over everything. Oh, it's a beautiful, beautiful time. After James woke up, they had juice and cookie time. And she gave James his counting lesson, and this is how she did it. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But I let him go again. Why did you let him go? Because he bit my finger so. And which finger did he bite? The little one on the right. And she gave James's finger a little nibble, which made him laugh and laugh and laugh until suddenly he stopped. The sun had disappeared. Margaret and James were cold. The sky grew darker and darker and the goats and the chickens ran into the shelter and the toucan, he flew screeching right into the cabin. A storm was coming. Margaret must make the boat ready at once. Look at the sky. <gasps> she took in the sail. Look at there she is with the ropes pulling it in. And she tied it tight. And she dropped the anchor right into the ground so it would get nice and tight and her boat wouldn't go away. She stowed all the gear while the rain drummed on the deck and the thunder rumbled above her. And then the lightning split the sky. And she ran into the cabin and slammed the door against that wet wind. Now everything was safe and secure. She did it, look at that. She's so proud and she did a good job, boy. Then she went in and lit the lamps and the little cabin was bright and warm and it was nearly supper time. So Margaret mixed up a batch of muffins and slid them into the oven, look at that, boy. And then she sliced up some peaches from the peach tree and put cinnamon and honey on them. Mmm. And they went into the oven too. And James was given a splashy bath in the sink. And Margaret dried him off with a big, big towel and gave him a hug. And then supper was ready. Outside the wind howled like a pack of hungry wolves and the rain lashed the window panes. But the sturdy little Maggie B kept her balance and only rocked the nicest little bit just like this. And Margaret and James ate the beautiful sea stew. There they are eating it. Mmm, mmm. It tasted of all the good things that had cooked in it. And they dumped the muffins into the broth. For dessert, they had those peaches with cinnamon and honey and glasses of warm goat milk. When supper was over, Maggie played some old tunes on her fiddle. There she is playing her fiddle, look at that. And she rocked little James to sleep in her, his cradle and sang him her favorite song. Sweet and low, sweet and low, wind of the western sea. Low, low, breathe and blow, wind of the western sea. Over the rolling waters go, Come from the dying moon and blow, blow, blow him again to me while my little one, while my pretty one sleeps. And look at, there he is sleeping and there she is singing away. So sweet. But then Margaret tucked him in under the covers and took a little look out at the night, a peek out the window. The storm was not so angry anymore Nice steady rain made a lullaby so sound on the roof of the cabin. So Margaret got into her bunk. She blew out the lamp and curled up inside her nest of blankets and fell asleep. The day on the Maggie B was over. And that's the end. It's a good story, isn't it? And that song, that's a really a song that was made up a long, long time ago by someone who was waiting for a sailor to come home. So now we've got to make a little boat. I don't have one to show you, but we're going to make it out of something that I 
took from my refrigerator, had some chicken in here, so I took the chicken out and washed this really well. It's a little meat tray and this will float. So I'm gonna cut a little shape of a boat out of it. A little bit hard to do, but you can do it. Take this away. Ooh, harder than I thought. Bigger scissors would have been better. Here we go, we can do it. If Maggie B could, could fix that boat, we can do this. Here we go, it's a little bit like a little boat. Not like that Maggie B. That was a beautiful boat. But here we go, we've got a little boat. I'm gonna leave that on because it's kind of nice for the back. And now we need a sail. See, I made one. I'll show you how to do it. We use our old trick if you have a rectangular paper and you fold it like a triangle to one side like this and then you cut the part that's left off you'll have a nice square but it can this time we'll leave it as a triangle to be our sail here we go and i've got a pencil which you can use a popsicle stick if you want. But I thought a pencil would do pretty well. A little bit of tape. And you can decorate your sail any way you want. Let me see, I'm gonna put this on. I'm just gonna put a little star on mine, I think. You can even put the name of a, of a boat or something on it if you would like. Or stripes and everything else. You can have fun decorating your sail. And then, here we go, you put the pencil in, not too, too far, and there you've got a little boat. Now let's see if it, if it sails. Got a big bucket of water here, but you can put it in the bathtub or the kitchen sink. Oh, look at that. How cool is that? And you can try putting some of your little people that you have at home on top of it. See if they can ride on the boat with you. And you can even, if you have them outside, you can blow and make some sailboat races. So that's something fun to do today. And I hope you have a good day and sing some songs. That'll make somebody happy and it'll make you happy too. Have a good day. See you next time.